That's weird. Oh. It's an invitation from Orando. Oh, give me just a second to finish getting started up here. Um, getting all my stuff together. in all those places again do, 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 do. and be good in just a moment all right we move this over here and I'm actually gonna hit the reset button on my console give me just a second here or I can almost kill myself in the process awesome Alright folks, it's been almost a week since I've last streamed, and I would like to apologize for that. I'd also like to turn the volume on the game down a little bit, so that way you guys can hear me without me having to shout. It's been a messy little while. I've just, uh, been various levels of tired, or, you know, not feeling the greatest mentally for mostly the same reasons that I talked about last time and you know all, all this other stuff and just very very bad planning on my part in general uh, let me double check the gain on my microphone real quick all right it's good because I had it turned up for a recording recently and it ended up I ended up sounding just very very crackly so uh, hopefully that won't be transferring down to the stream audio the video is going to look a little bit jank because my video hardware for capturing from a composite device is not very good. And, you know, we can go ahead and watch this uh, this little intro cutscene. I don't think I've seen this in a very, very long time. In fact, I may have forgotten that it existed entirely. Yep, Ganondorf, who, uh, turned into a giant pig creature. Spread darkness across, well... I guess the Triforce is back in Hyrule now? Like, wasn't there that whole Sacred Realm thing in OOT, or- oh, Um... <laughs> Zelda timeline, what the hell are you guys talking about? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's not supposed to. Well, or maybe it is, but I've never personally asked. I'm going to assume that up to a point, nobody at Nintendo ever looked at a lot of their games and was like, this is going to get a sequel. Especially in the early NES days, because of course, the game industry was basically on life support at that point. At least in America. In Japan, I think things were a little bit different. But of course, America is still a pretty huge market, no matter what. And so, you know, getting a foothold there would be kind of important, I guess. I'm not even talking about what's going on on screen, because we, we all kind of get the idea is that Ganondorf is never allowed to be permanently defeated. He's just, he's a cockroach of a man. And unfortunately, Link is just some regular dude. And I guess Green just goes out of fashion way too often for him to be allowed to make an appearance in public. 
I'm, I'm assuming that that's how it works. I don't actually know because I'm not paying attention to the cutscene. If I did that, I would know what the plot is, but I'm not. No, I think we, I think we know the basics of this, and we can all probably guess a lot of the rest of this that we're going to see throughout the rest of the game. That this this kingdom vanished, but the legend remains. We've played Zelda games before. I've played them on this channel, in fact. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And by claim rewards, we mean dig them out of various weird dungeons and things. Or, in this case, trawl the, uh, trawl the ocean for them. Because they're are a relatively reduced amount of dungeons. Like, that's the thing, is... On top of everything else, there are fairly few, like, regular, air quotes, regular dungeons in this game. Like, OOT had the three spiritual stone dungeons, then the five temples, and Ganon's palace, not to mention a couple of optional things. This game has like six before you fight before you go to Ganon's castle or whatever it's called in this game and you can see I already have a file that I was playing like two years ago I haven't played that in a very long time but of course we're gonna start a new file and I'm going to get a bit of a bit of lag on here um that's not particularly good But it does seem to have sorted itself out. That was just a little bit of, uh, of my old Dazzle probably being like, Eh? I, I don't remember how to work. You haven't put this into a computer in years. And it would be right. I have not. So let's go ahead and let's start this off. And, uh, again, get this, this lag here. This is a little worrying, because I hope this doesn't, like, persist, because if this is a thing in in the actual gameplay, it will make playing this a little bit hard. But of course, we're going to name ourselves the obvious here, and we're going to call ourselves Lonk. <laughs> Should name it Alan? Well, I I'm sorry, Alan, but this Link... It's not much of a ginger, so I don't know you. I don't know if you'd be down with him being, you know, a blondie. <laughs> but how is everybody doing this evening? Oh, are we gonna get this this cutscene again? Uh, let me double check that this is like the same, because if it is, yeah. Oh, we already saw this. Okay, uh, is there a skip button? There does not appear to be a skip button. And I'm getting a bit more of that lag, so that's... That's a device type of issue over here. Again, if this is a thing that persists, I may have to... I may have to do something else. I may have to try plugging it into a different USB port, which is always a very, uh... Very available possibility. Give me just a second here.
Okay, <laughs> back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I see we've got a couple couple more viewers. Hello to Cat Lee and Zephyrium. <laughs> Coming in here like tuxedo mask Zephyrium. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a good one, Alan. He strikes me as a sort, I guess. Uh, Cat, are you referring to the the switch on the side? Do you mean the power button? Wow, tough crowd already. Jeez. <laughs> Wind Waker is definitely one of the more divisive Zelda games <laughs> out there. Like, very early on, people were... Like, back in the early 2000s, I distinctly remember a lot of the wank about how, oh, it's got this cel-shaded, cartoony look, and that doesn't look like... You know, that doesn't look like Ocarina of Time or, like, Majora's Mask, and... Yeah, it doesn't because it's on a system that can actually do stylized graphics. Like, no offense to people who... No offense to people who like OOT or, of course, Majora's Mask. I quite like Majora's Mask. But the N64 was not the most advanced console in the world. And the Cube is not without its uh, not without its flaws either in that department. It's not without some weaknesses, but it could do a, it could definitely do a lot more. Was the NES. <laughs> the NES where you occasionally had to hold down the reset button while you saved. Interesting that I'm getting some, like, weird graphical stuff. It almost feels like I am playing on an emulator. I just have... I just have Dazzle DVC 100 tier graphics for some reason. <laughs> I'm not playing this on an emulator. I'm playing this on an actual console. I knew you'd be here. And as... as we, uh... <laughs> maybe my console is just full of dust. Like, I'm just gonna... Get out those weird, uh, weird screwdriver bits, get inside of it, open it up, and just an avalanche of dust is gonna come out. It's gonna have no guts or anything. It's just gonna be just dust. It's February 10th, actually. I mean, did you look at the kid's face? Yes, it's definitely... Lonk is definitely... Lonk is not even half asleep, he's all asleep. <laughs> Link's face is a mood, definitely. I do like how expressive everybody in this game is. That is definitely a, a really good thing that this... Like, unequivocally does... Over... Uh, OOT. Like, again, as I say, a little bit on the... This is definitely a little bit on the divisive side for reasons we'll see later. And I dislike it for a lot of the traditional reasons, but the graphic style is very good, and I definitely enjoy how expressive everybody is, as I've already said. This Dazzle needs to stop fucking around and shallow grave itself, am I right, guys? That's a joke that maybe Alan will get. And he will fucking hate me for reminding him of that. If he does. <laughs> yeah, I... I do not know what the deal is. I mean, I've... I've had a lot of laughs, but I am absolutely playing this on a console. Maybe my disc is beat up or something. I may have to take a look at it later. Let's talk to some kids over here. What's this, uh... Little fellow with the marker pen face on. <laughs> Alright, so this kid's just telling us the thing that we know already. Oh! Well, I can definitely jump into the water. That's what you wanted to see, right, kid? And there we go, there, there's our, there's our first bloopy. 
to map a monster and a bird? I mean, it could be. It definitely has a bit of a look to it, that's for sure. What's this guy doing over here? I don't think you should just kidnap a random wild pig, but okay, dude. If you want, if you want to see me do that, I guess I can go and try and get that pig for you. You guess you don't even know, do you? I, I had this brief moment of like, wait, isn't that just the guy who made Yik? Or as you pronounce it correctly, Y2K. But we're not about being correct here, right? We're about being filthy meme lords. There, I picked up a pig. Uh, can we go talk to this guy with the pig? He doesn't have anything to say to us. That is unfortunate. Right, well, in that case, pig, guess where you're going. Oh wow, it bounced. That's that's almost worse than me just trying to chuck it into the ocean. Oh my god. I'm almost sorry. Almost. Oh, we got a uh, person carrying the pot on her head. That is a very strange choice, but I'm not going to judge you that much. Well, okay, I mean... Lady from Zelda 2 who heals you? I mean, it's very... <laughs> Alan, please. <laughs> Alright, so what else we got going on here? We got some more pigs. We got a kid who runs at us and definitely needs some tissues. That... That's a pretty impressive snot. That... Like, this kid could grapple hook with that, basically. I'm... <laughs> I'm kind of distressed by this child's design, to be honest with you. Also, there's a yellow rupee in there that we can't get. I believe that's worth 10. If somebody would like to correct me, that is definitely something you could do, because I don't remember. I know reds are 20, blues are 5, greens are 1. Uh, we can't make that jump. That definitely kind of wants us to come back with an item. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot I had MS Paint Beast in here. The, uh... Good old Tessie. Earthbound is definitely a game I have to play on this channel at some point because Earthbound is really, really good. And yeah, this sidling along walls thing is something that I think we could only start doing in this game. And it's a... Pretty good addition. It's it's useful, and I'm surprised that it didn't exist sooner. Like otherwise, you just have to be really careful and slip off the edge a bunch of times if you're in like OOT or something, right? Also, we got this funky boat out here. That uh, I think we recognize this fellow. It's quite a schnoz on that picture. Let's, uh, let's go inside and see. Oh, well, that'll be why. It's Beetle! Oh! <laughs> Beetle is pretty great. Everybody loves Beetle, and for good reason, because... <laughs> what a voice. Oh, I can, I can sell Beetle junk in this game, too. That's nice. Alright, what do we got? 20 rupees to get this bait bag, so we can grab this already. <laughs> Oh man, that's that's pretty great, Alan. I <laughs> All right, let's get a let's grab this interesting looking pig face sack here that we can put bait into. Something something baiting with a bag. I 
That, that joke seems a little too easy, even by my standards. Let's buy it. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh. I'd buy that for oh, a dollar. Oh, thank you there, uh... Mr. Person who made my alert box, made me realize my alert box is underneath everything. The psychologist doctor. Thank you for the host. We got the bait bag. We can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. That doesn't seem very convenient looking to me, but I guess we will definitely see that gameplay mechanics do not necessarily match the appearance of things. Eight pouches for storing bait. Yeah, teaches us how to use the thing. Thank you! And Beetle with the greatest voice of all time. Thank you! <laughs> Honestly, if I did follower alert still, I would probably have that in there, but... Moreover, Beetle is going to give us a member's card. Or at least keep one for us. I think he just keeps it for us and charges up points as we spend money on him. I don't remember what this gets us. Oh, okay. 30 points to gain a silver membership. Well, that doesn't entirely tell me what I need... Bye. What to, uh... What I'll be getting out of that. But we will see as the playthrough goes on, I guess. Get ourselves into, uh... Into the rest of the story here. Walking in some bushes that I can't walk through. Bump the kid out of the way in a very silly manner. Uh, make sure there's nothing else going on over here. Oh, there's some pots we can probably find two rupees. That seemed like what I was... That's about what I was expecting, but that's okay. Let's head home and... Occasionally, yes. I that is definitely a thing I do. I don't think I've hit like full psychological effects. Slight audio lag. Uh, duly noted. That again might be an issue with the uh, the thingy down here. We'll find out about that in the future. If if this proves to be too problematic, I actually will get an emulator and probably just run this game that way. But I'm trying to do stuff with my console where possible. Also, I just noticed there's a little bit of border around my, uh, thing. I will fix that in a moment. Like, you can see a little bit of gray up around the edges. Well, it's a window capture, so I can't, I can't point at it. Gotcha. Lonk, get out of your pajamas. And do something about your bed head. Lonk looks extremely concerned about these clothes. Might be a little warm. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. That is definitely a link. <laughs> Definitely wince before in VR. That is a thing I can absolutely understand, because you'd also have the the thing of like stuff coming right at your eyes too, as opposed to just being on a screen and all of that. Alright, so we gotta go talk to Orca to learn about using swords, swords. And we gotta Got a shield there. I've never really tried out any sort of, uh, any sort of VR stuff before. It's something that I probably could have. I know a couple of people who have VR equipment. So I'm, I'm sure that if I had a chance to talk to them, it would probably, uh, be reasonably something I could do, but yeah. Getting your own VR devices is definitely not a cheap thing. It It's cheaper than it used to be, but yeah. It could still come down, and it, as something that 
you're not 100% sure how you'd feel about it, that is even worse, because that's a lot of money to throw into something that might just cause you issues. Ah, okay. I haven't been to a museum in a while. Oh, kid's still running after us at ridiculous speeds. That child is incredibly silly. We got a guy here with a scythe or a sickle of some kind that is probably clipping into the ground, but I can't tell from this angle. Mysteries of time and grass. <laughs> That's a good phrase. That's... Okay, the, the little sickle is only just clipping into the ground. You know, now that I've... By the time I mention it, that really is, it's like, oh, now I'm, now I'm thinking about it. Whoops. Alright, so our sister is going to be up on the platform again, because that's what she likes to do. She likes using that telescope. You can see a bit of a landmass out there in the distance. I forget what that is. I don't remember a whole lot of the islands in this game, so this might be a slightly choppy playthrough to say the least. I haven't touched it since, uh, since whenever that last save file was on the... that we saw earlier. Which was sometime in 2017, so that's two years, possibly going on three now? Yeah, I mean, green is nice, but definitely Lonk is kind of cooking in here. You haven't played it since release. Well, you'd be much worse at telling where things are than I am unless you, like, have memorized the game. Which would be pretty intense, but... We get ourselves a telescope. And with that, we can do telescope things. You know, like... Whack people on the back of the head ineffectually and crack it instantly. I'm sure that... I'm sure that that is a good use of our time. Oh, wait. We can use it one time and never touch it again. I'll probably actually end up using it more than that. But you can tell that that aperture is a little small. Hey, get a look at Birdman over here. Well, the, the post office is definitely flip- the, the post officer is definitely flipping the fuck out, so... Look up at the sky. I thought that was gonna be automated. Oh, that's... That's one hell of a bird. That'll be the, uh, the cargo rock there, right? Where's it the Helmarok King? Uh, the regular ones are just called Kargoroks, and then the boss one is the Helmarok King. And I cannot tell the difference between them right now, but... We will definitely be... <coughs> oh, that bird was screaming. Ooh, I think she's dead. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think there's going to be a soft landing in those trees. I mean, I've got a telescope. I I told you I can I can clobber one enemy with it. I can also slam into the ladder in a really stupid way. Also, something I've never quite understood 
with the 3D Zelda games is that the, the little action button says attack when you're ready to roll. So, that's not much of an attack. I probably should be going to talk to Orca, but A, I forget which of these two houses he's in, and B, let's go get that shield. Or let's see if we can get the shield. Attack the ground with yourself. Alright, here's someone teaching us about L-targeting. That's, uh... Like, I don't want to be offensive, but... That guy's dome is massive. That's quite a forehead. That's going beyond, like... That's going beyond five head. Maybe even beyond six head. That's like seven or eight, easily. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, I could loan you this telescope, but I don't think it'll do much for you, sir. Let's go in here and talk to, uh... This is where Orca hangs out, then. Hey, it's looking pretty cool for a, for a guy his age. Check out that big ol' stone shark back there. The shark teeth. Spears out the wazoo. This, this is definitely not Alan when he grows old, judging by all the spears. Yeah, I think somebody just... I think somebody just broke their neck horribly landing in a bunch of trees. <laughs> you make similar noises already, wow. Well, fair enough. Alright. Let's learn a bunch of sword techniques that we're not really going to use. Mashing the B button. Alright. Now we get vertical slashes with the with the the L targeting here. I, I thought that's what I was doing, sir. But you do have to be a little bit, a little bit, uh, yeah, back me up, buddy. There you go. Now that is something that is genuinely very useful, is the, uh, the parrying attacks. The, this was sort of a thing that started to crop up a little more in terms of, uh... In video games around this time. Like, I think a couple of years after this, Kingdom Hearts 2 came out and that had its own reaction-based combat things on the, on the triangle button. It, it definitely adds a little more dimensionality to the swordplay in these games, which is great because usually the fighting is kind of simplistic. Like, they try with the Ganon Tennis and, and all that, but I'm not sure that it works that well. And we get ourselves a sword. This man is now Bruce Lee, pretty much. Fused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Unfortunately, this sword itself is not going to upgrade, but I like what he's selling a little bit. Why don't we crack his pots? He's not even gonna get mad at us. 
However, I think if we roll into the wall, somebody upstairs gets mad at us. Oh, but he knocks himself off the walls. That's... That's kind of neat. I swear there's a way to make that dude angry. The, the guy upstairs. Knight's Crest. Still too early to discuss such things with us. Well, okay. If we happen across ten of them, show them to him... And he will tell us about them when we get there. That's a way for us to learn a new sword technique. But we will not see that for a while, because the enemies that drop those at all don't show up for a good long period of time. I think they first appear in the Tower of the Gods. I think. But also, we have a sword, so we can go cut grass, we can cut down these little trees, which gives us this little bit of screen shake and a little bit of fuzzing out effect to sort of symbolize, wow, look at this power, you're felling a whole tree. It gets a little tired after a while, admittedly. Like, I know what they're going for, but you can't overdo it. All right, let's go ask our grandmother about the shield. Maybe we won't be allowed to have the shield until it's time to leave the island here. <laughs> A persona in Twilight Princess, yeah, basically. Depending how many more games that we play in this series, we probably will see Furry Link at some point. Furry Long. Well, we can't get a shield yet. I'm feeling a little sad. Beetle, why don't you go and... Why don't you come over here, Beetle, and cheer me up by letting me buy one of those freaky-looking pears. Oh. See, he even thanks us before we buy anything. What a guy. And we'll get some frame rate choking here. Are those the same description? Yes, they are. Alright, so... This all-purpose bait, this is mostly going to be used to feed fish. And, more importantly, these Hioi pairs, these will let us attract and control seagulls at certain points. So for now, I'm at least gonna go ahead and grab some of this with a little bit of our money. Because this will help us map out the the massive, massive ocean that exists in this world for us to traverse. And do some other stuff, I believe, but I do not remember what all that is. We'll find out as we we'll find out as we go. Plus, it will also help get us towards that silver membership. I would genuinely like to know what that is, because I do not remember. Uh, game? This lag is, like, suddenly cropping up again, and that doesn't make me feel great. It was doing so good for a little bit there. Yeah, apparently the game is not amused by me not going and rescuing the kid from the forest. Like, I can understand that there might be a little bit of like, oh, that's a lot of particles for when I'm cutting all this grass. But when I'm just literally just walking down the same island that I've walked down several times at this point, Yep, we got everything there. 
Alright, there's another... There's another pig, but this one's spotted. We can crawl under this area, grab ourselves just the one rupee. I thought it branched. It does not. Also, another thing is that crawling and using crawl spaces like that is much easier in this game than in OOT. It's kind of strange that people are like, oh, Ocarina of Time is the best game ever without ha without even trying to... Well, I'm failing even as the, uh, the lag is kicking in here. Like, there's absolutely some nostalgia involved there. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily an issue, because go right ahead, be as nostalgic about it as you want. But there's definite, it, it, there is something there. There have been better games just in the series since then. So, first of all, we got a bridge over here. Is there a big hole in that bridge? There's a big hole in that bridge. I think the entire bridge gets knocked out later. Because I definitely remember having to float across that gap with the... with an item. Wow, um, here, give me a second here. I'm gonna try moving this to another USB port real quick. I might freak out for a second here. Yeah, well, the sound is off. It's, uh... Oh, see, now it's doing that. That's weird. <laughs> 